Movie Pass service outage makes for double disappointment for users forced to choose between Pearl. Movie Pass, a discount service for movie tickets at theaters, disappointed users again over the weekend with a service outage as well as a new policy limiting options to a choice between two films. Before the service outage which left hopeful moviegoers with no options at all, those who could access the application had to choose between Slender Man, which has received less than stellar reviews, and off-peak showtimes for the most recent installment in the Mission, Impossible series. This is the latest letdown for the relatively new company's users, who have been seeing decreases in value to their subscriptions over the past few weeks. CEO Mitch Lowe confirmed to the New York Post on Friday that the two-movie choice policy will continue moving forward, and adding that the two movies available to select from may change as often as each day. Unfortunately, in order to stay financially stable we've had to curtail the service, Lowe said. We had to ride the ship as far as the amount of money we were burning. Other changes loom, as well, including no more daily tickets as of August 15 which will be replaced with a maximum of only three movies per month, which the app says will affect 15% of users. Slender Man, a horror flick, boasts a mere 16% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, a crowdsourced review site where audience members rate films. And in New York City, the only time slots available to watch Mission, Impossible, Fallout were 2.30 p.m. and 10.45 p.m. With a run time of 147 minutes, that would leave viewers who worked during the day getting out of the evening showing at around 1.45 am the next morning. Movie Pass said it did not purposely restrict showtimes for the more desirable mission, impossible film. This has been a challenging time for us and our customers, Lowe said. We're just trying to save our service to be able to be available long term. On Monday. The service walked back a planned 50% price increase following a subscriber backlash. But the cash-starved company will soon impose a cap of three movies per month, instead of one every day. The company says the new plan will include many major studio first-run films, though there will be exceptions the company didn't specify. In doing so, MoviePass is rescinding a recent cost-cutting move of barring viewings of most major releases during the first two weeks. Movie Pass has shown that many moviegoers will make time to hit theaters when movies are affordable, despite more convenient options such as Netflix and video on demand. U.S. movie ticket sales are up 8% so far this year, according to Comscore. Movie Pass claims credit for some of that. Movie Pass has grown to 3 million subscribers, from about 20,000, since it slashed monthly rates nearly a year ago to $10 from as high as $50. But that success has proven costly. Because Movie Pass typically pays theaters the full cost of tickets, which can be $15 or more in big cities, a single movie can put the service in the red. Its parent company recently had to take out a $5 million emergency loan to pay its payment processors after missed payments resulted in service outages. Movie Pass has made many haphazard changes in recent weeks to reduce costs, including blocking most or all evening screenings, regardless of when the movie came out. That has led to complaints from subscribers, some of whom have threatened to leave for a rival plan from the AMC theater chain. Though Movie Pass says it's not raising monthly prices to $15, there's still a hidden price increase. The company already has a three movie plan for $8 a month. Now, that plan will be $10. Movie Pass is also rescinding other cost cutting measures, including surcharges for popular movies and show times and requirements to send photographs of ticket stubs to combat fraud. Movie Pass says the new cap will affect only about 15% of subscribers, which includes those who now watch four or more movies each month. The new caps take effect on August 15 though those with annual subscriptions won't be affected until their renewal date. The stock price of MoviePass parent company, Helios and Matheson Analytics Inc., increased 19% to close Monday at $0.08, cents, though it's still down from nearly $50 a month ago, adjusted for a reverse stock split.